Hey there, thank you for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm bringing to you guys today a review of another spring summer collection but this particular collection I have not seen a lot of talk about on the internet and I feel like it is such an underrated collection. We're talking about the Pastel Haze collection from Holika Holika. I'll be taking a look at both of the new My Fave eyeshadow palettes that are part of this collection as well as the two new shades in the Peace Matching Blush Formula. We'll also be swatching all of the colors in the new Milky Dew Bomb line. Let's jump right into the video. The first items we are looking at are the newest addition to the My Fave eyeshadow palette line. If you did not know already, these My Fave eyeshadow palettes are very much comparable to the Rum and Better Than Eyes eyeshadow palette line. And I would even say that the matte shadow formula from Holika Holika is slightly silkier than the Rum and Matte eyeshadow formula. The glitter shades from the My Fave line are denser than the glitter shades in the Better Than Eye line. However, I would say that when it comes to the glitter size as well as the variety and the color mixes of the different glitter shades across the palettes, they are very comparable. The warmer of the two palettes is the Mary palette. Side by side comparison of this palette and the Melba palette also from Holika Holika shows you how soft and actually not that warm this palette is. This palette gives me a very similar vibe to the Rum and Dry Willow Flower palette, though Mary is definitely a little bit more corally than Dry Willow Flower. All the shades in the Mary palette apply true to color on my skin, and on the eyes, this palette gives a fresh and natural soft contouring look that still provides enough definition to the eyes without going over the top. The cool tone counterpart to Mary is Dreamy. Now when I saw the PR images of this palette online, I thought it would look quite similar to the Dry Lavender palette from Rum N. But this side by side should give you an idea of how different these two palettes actually look in real life. There is more of a pinkish tone in all the shades of the Dreamy palette, but at the same time if I compare it to Rose Lee and Dried Rose, you can see that the Dreamy palette lacks the depth as well as the brown tinge that is in all the shades in the other two palettes. I would say that if I combine Dry Violet and Truffle and then turn up the brightness across the shades, I would then probably get something similar to Dreamy. Next, we have the two new shades in the Peace Matching Blusher formula that accompany our palette. Clean Salmon is a bright salmon with a tint of peach. Next to Rum and Dream Powder, Clean Salmon is definitely not as muted. It is quite vivid and also a little bit more milky. At the same time, if I compare Clean Salmon to Halo, you can see that Clean Salmon is not quite a true coral like Halo is. On the other hand, Clean Lavender is not a shade of blush that I already own or usually use. The color I have that is closest to this shade would be the blush shade in the Moth Me palette by Espoir. Yet, in this side by side, you can see that the blush in the Moth Me palette is more of a magenta purple compared to the milky purple that is Clean Lavender. Even though both of the shades are quite bright and also slightly white base, they did not apply chalky on my cheeks at all. In fact, they are so softly pigmented that they give a barely there flush, which is a trend that I have been seeing quite often recently. Lastly, let's talk about the Milky Dew Bombs, the product line that I am most curious about in this release. 
even though these products are cold bombs, they do not give the usual oily slippy sensation I associate with tinted balm products. They are easy to apply and easy to sheer out, and the finish is not actually very glossy. The texture of these products is actually much closer to a comfort matte lipsticks than a tinted balm. These Milky Dew Balms don't really give a staining effect. However, once the color has set on the lips, there is very little chance for. Shade number one, Jam, is a burnt coral with a hint of brown. Number two, Oat is a toned down corally beige. Number three curd is a burnt chili orange. Number four, boba, is a rosy brown with a hint of burgundy. And number five, panna, is a calm rosy beige. All in all, I think this Pastel Haze collection from Holika Holika is such a good spring-summer collection for a couple of reasons. First of all, even though the color stories of this particular collection are nothing new and a lot of other brands have put out products along the same line of color and theme, Holika Holika was smart about it and chose colors for all of the products in this collection so they're not too warm nor too cool, not too bright and vivid, nor too deep and dark, which means that a lot of different skin tones can use and enjoy all of the products in this particular collection. I think that even the cool part of the collection which includes the clean lavender and the dreamy palette can still look good on a lot of people with warm undertones and vice versa. Secondly, I think the formulation of all these products is spot on for a spring-summer collection. Usually when I am thinking of a style of makeup that is appropriate for the spring and summer season, I usually think about fresh, natural looking makeup that is not heavy. And I feel like Holika Holika has put all of these into consideration when they choose the formulation of all the products in the Pastel Haze collection. All the products in this collection, including both of the eyeshadow palettes, the blushes, as well as the Milky Dew Balm line, are very low maintenance. They're soft, but still pigmented and easily blendable, so you don't really have to put in a lot of effort to achieve a fresh, no makeup makeup kind of look for the spring summer season. That is everything I have to say in this video, and if you cannot already tell, I highly, highly recommend that you check out this Pastel Haze collection from Holika Holika. Even if you are someone who is new to makeup, I feel that this collection is a very good starting point for your makeup collection. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and please hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video or find it useful. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload new content on this channel. I'll see you guys in my next video.